Hi, my name's Liam Hookie and I'm six and I'm going into grade two. I'm here today to donate for children's mental health. I want um, to help kids who are angry and try to make them happier again. We were pretty, we were very pleased and excited when he told us he wanted to donate. It was very spontaneous. He, they already have donation banks which they give a third of their allowance to. And they've given little donations to the school when they do fundraisers for various things. But when, uh, when I was talking about my donation to the hospital, um, Liam came up about a week later and said he wanted to donate to research uh, at the hospital. So I thought that was really novel and, and we weren't expecting it at all. Uh, my dad did it, so I wanted to do it too. Sometimes there's a sense that the hospitals and the government can cover everything and it's become quite clear that that's no longer the case and I'm sure it ever was. I think we need to step up as, as citizens of the hospitals and, and the community and, and, uh, and healthcare in general and take our uh, responsibility and, and contribute where we can. Apart from it being the cutest gesture from a little six-year-old, for me it really is um, groundbreaking because this little child actually chose a scenario out of many scenarios to decide what he was going to give his donation to words. And the fact that he gave it to words a mental health scenario is a groundbreaking thing for, for me and with my really a long career in child and adolescent psychiatry, the, our push has been repeatedly to get the public to be more aware, to get people to be no, more aware because the burden of mental health disorders is huge and it lasts people's lifetimes. So the earlier we catch it, the earlier we do something about it, the better it is. So the more people are aware, the less stigma there is, which is a very important issue in mental health problems. And when there is less stigma, people will go and get help you know, and people will be able to pick it up and be aware and get both acknowledge, be aware, and then get the help the kids need when they are little. Because helping when they are adults makes it much more difficult because a lot of water has gone under the bridge. There has been a lot of damage done to a person's sense of self who has struggled with mental health issues. So the earlier we get them, they don't have that long trajectory behind them, they are able to actually, they're resili more resilient, their personalities haven't congealed, so it's easier to bring about changes in them which will then serve them well for the rest of their lives. You know, They may still have mental health problems, but the intensity and the severity of those would be mitigated by knowledge, awareness and help at the right times. So that's what this means for me. It is very, very um, important day. And I'm touched by this little boy and his donation and um, his picking us, you know, it's, it's just, so one child at a time. I will have done my work, my life's work, if I had even made a difference to one or two children in terms of their awareness being raised. Very proud of Liam and think it's a great thing that he's doing and we're hoping to inspire all our kids to, to make charity part of their life.